When Saint Theodora, at the age of 17, was killed, we're not going to get into the, uh, her life or why she was killed, etc. I'm going to talk about the miracle. Um, she said, "May my," she said, "My Lord, may my blood become a river, and may my hair become trees." Okay. Um, now, where she was uh, killed, uh, she the, the locals built a church. Okay. Sure enough, what she asked from the Lord, a river is now flowing. Round uh, under the church, sorry. Apart from that, on top of the roof, there is 17 trees. Now, those 17 trees are exactly like her age, okay? The trees go up to 30 meters tall. Some of them weigh over a ton. Collectively, all together, over 15 tons. Imagine 15 tons of weight on a tiny roof of a church. Now, listen to this. They've got no roots. Okay, so here we have the Church of St. Theodora. And as you can see, it's a small church. And look at the trees. Look at the trees from the roof. Look how tall they are. As I said, 30 meters. Okay, so now we're walking um, closer to the church. You can see those trees on top of the roof. They're literally, it's like they are living and coming out of the church. As I mentioned, some of these trees are over one ton and all together over 15 tons on this little church. Look at that. And there's no roots. As I said, normally we should have approximately six meter, um, a six meter root. There's no roots. Okay, so let's have a look inside the church. As I said, these trees have got no roots. We can clearly see the ceiling, the walls. No roots are coming through the church. And mind you, scientists have come to examine this church. And there is the river. Now, you can actually drink the water. It is drinkable. And that's the river that flows. And that's Saint Theodora, the Holy Marta. Marta, because um, she's been, uh, she got um, killed, martyred there. And at the bottom of this holy icon, what we're going to see is what she asked from the Lord: "May my hair become trees and my blood a river." What a beautiful miracle! What we're going to do is we're going to see a few of these um, still photos. And I'm going to be reading um, a few of these scientists' um, uh, conclusions, what they concluded. And finishing off after that, I'm going to show you a holy icon that I'm lucky enough to have at home um, of this miracle as well. So, um, yeah, enjoy. Okay, so as you're enjoying these still photos, I will read the first engineer, Eleftherios Velianus from Athens in 1986 said, since the winds that blow in that area have the power to uproot trees, it is clear how much force the 17 trees press upon the roof. Lucas Costantinos, he's a geologist, in 1987 said, there is no geological explanation. It is a continuous miracle. George Ruptus, a silviculturalist of Nafpaktos in 1992 said, the entire phenomenon is beyond any of man's logical, natural and scientific explanations. Eleni Stavroyanos Perry, an architect, said in 1993, the phenomenon is scientifically unexplainable considering the position of the church, its temporary construction and its age, the heavy weight and the winds should have gradually destroyed it, but it is still standing after so many centuries without any serious damage. Anastasios Tinkas, an archaeologist, historian, he said, the entire growth, existence and life of the trees on the roof of the little church of St. Theodora is amazing. Beyond any man's natural reasoning and explanations, this shows a rare characteristic 
God's intervention for his creature, the making of the miracle. Mr. Pallas, director of antiquities, said, under the laws of nature, at least the large trees, because of the slope, height and perimeter, should have destroyed it. To stand imperiously in, is something that science cannot give an explanation. Mr. Macrianus, a geologist in 1993, said, 17 giants supported on nothing. All these huge trees are rooted on nothing. Or better said, on a roof which is only a few centimetres thick. However, the biggest surprise awaits us inside. There is not even the smallest root coming through the old walls. There is no crack caused by them. When the wind blows through one of the huge trees of the church, its roots form such strong levers that the small settlement should crash immediately. As a geologist, I know very well that the walls should have been crushed and broken down only under one tree, and they are 17 trees. And let's not forget, it's been noted that this church was listed in the Guinness Book of World Records. Um, a holy icon of St. Theodora there on the top left corner, and you can see there the, um, the church with the 17 um, trees uh, and also the river. And at the top of the church, it says, Lord. And when we say Lord, we're referring to Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, may my hair become trees and my blood river. So as we can see, the Christian Orthodox faith is alive. Um, it's living in these days. Um, all we need to do is open our hearts to it. And um, you too can experience the love through the Holy Spirit in your heart. So thank you once again. Um, God bless you all. And um, I'll be preparing the next miracle. Thank you. Take care.